Ave Maria, this is Friar Gabriel Mary from the Franciscans of the Immaculate. I'm here with Marian de Rocher. She's the director of the Pro-Life Apostolate for the Diocese of Fall River. And uh, Marian, can you just tell us a little bit about uh, what you're doing here at the Four Women Abortion Clinic here in Attleboro? Yes, um, each year we run a pro-life boot camp for our young people and uh, college and high school age. And we do a quite in-depth immersion into understanding the all of the life issues and the dignity and sanctity of all human life and part of that weekend also involves bringing them here to pray uh, for a little over an hour and a half and really to focus on prayer for the conversion uh, for obviously the saving lives of the unborn first and foremost but the conversion of the hearts of the mother and the doctors and the medical people and everyone who works at the facility uh, hoping that God will touch their hearts and help them to uh, kind of have a breakthrough and see the reality of the horror of what is happening here. I'm here with Jocelyn Trindad from, uh, well, the Pro-Life Boot Camp. You're the youth coordinator of it. And uh, can you just tell me a little bit about uh, what you're doing here? Sure, yeah. Um, so every year when we take, uh, when the kids come to this boot camp, we take them here on Saturdays to pray at the abortion clinic. Um, you know, we're praying, uh, hoping that the hearts of the women that are going into, these, into the clinic, um, the abortionists, anyone that's working in the clinic, that their hearts may be converted. Um, you know, when we're here, it's a, it's a spiritual battle, and we're on the front lines. So, um, you know, we teach the kids that, and that when we're here, we're praying, and that prayer does work, and you know, prayer does uh, change things. So, um, we're here as just a silent witness to pray, um, and to let them know, you know, as our shirts say, that there is hope, that there are other options, that they don't have to feel trapped. I have Erica here with me. Erica, how has, how has the Pro Life Boot Camp been for you t this week? This week it's been fantastic. Um, I always look forward to coming every year, and it's something that I look forward to because I get to celebrate with all my friends' life. Do any of the campers express an interest to further their work in Pro Life? Yeah, definitely. I feel like all of us like look for opportunities during the year. Um, we have like a reunion where we like get together and further our endeavors and I know myself this camp over the years has like pushed me towards looking towards a career that involves the pro-life movement and maybe like joining it in a more professional way. Well that's good to hear. Yeah. Ave Maria, this is Friar Gabriel Mary from the Franciscans of the Immaculate. I'm here with Andrew Hamill. He's on the junior staff here at the Pro-Life Boot Camp. Andrew, can you just tell us a little bit about what you're doing here today? Today we took a bus to the abor abortion clinic in Attleboro, Massachusetts, and we are praying outside, sta standing as a witness to life, and hopefully convincing some of the women going into the clinic to change their minds and not go through with the abortion. And today here at the park, um, the pra prayers, I bet it's pretty emotional for a lot of you. Yeah, um, like I consider myself an emotional person and um, it's definitely a tough experience to have, but it's worth it and it's important. And it's one of the most important things that I could be doing with my summer and with my time. So I'm more than happy to be here to save lives.
This isn't the only event of the weekend. Can you tell us a little bit more about what's going on throughout, you know, it's from Friday to Sunday about this uh, pro-life boot camp? Sure. Um, so there are lots of talks going on, different activities. Of course, there's downtime where the kids can just play frisbee or soccer. Um, but, you know, the talks so far this weekend have been on true masculinity and femininity and what that means and what God is calling us to and how to love in our own masculinity or femininity. Um, they've had different talks on spiritual warfare. Um, another one was um, just about, in general, what it means to be pro-life. Um, today they'll be hearing talks from someone who volunteered for years at a, a crisis pregnancy center. Um, so how to, um, you know, maybe minister or how to better love women who are facing these difficult situations. Um, you know, tonight, it's, it's going to be a, a fun night. Um, we're just going to have a movie and popcorn and different things. But um, Saturday is our long day where we come here bright and early at the clinic. We pray. Um, and then we're actually going to a nursing home. Um, you know, being pro-life isn't just about the infant um, in the womb, but, you know, it's from conception to natural death. So uh, we're going to be going to a nursing home, ministering to them, playing different crafts, activities, bringing some joy, because a lot of times, too, our elderly brothers and sisters are forgotten. So. your highlight of the week so far? Last night we went to adoration and confession and I feel like that's really important before you go to do something like this and you're freed with everyone else that you're with and you become totally ready to not only save yourself but save others and I think just the happiness and the joy that comes from that um, along with everyone else and then going out and knowing that everyone you're with is so happy is that definitely the highlight. And can you tell me a little bit about how this pro-life boot camp got started? Yes, it actually started about five years ago when Jocelyn and Cassandra, who helped to lead up the youth piece of it, um, came and we had a discussion and they actually went down to a boot camp and uh, Texas and uh, was there for a week and came back and very much believed that this was something our young people needed to do and to learn all about and to help them transform to really become Christ. We don't want them just doing things themselves. Uh, we ask them to really commit their will and their hearts and to allow Jesus to really transform them and transform their lives and they do express to us that they can feel Christ working through them over the course of this weekend. Beautiful. And I know that you mentioned uh, during the weekend that uh, we want to be providing them with a lot of information. Uh, like, so part of the boot camp is informational, but uh, you also talked about how it's also formational. Uh, can you talk a little bit about that aspect of the boot camp? Sure. Um, one of the things that I have even discovered in my own life is that um, you really have to commit yourself to Christ and, and set aside prayer time and really uh, allow Him to take your heart and, and have it really become uh, part of His heart. And uh, it really brings you to a deeper level of compassion and understanding. Um, love and commitment and um, it helps to it's the only way we're going to change anything is one one person at a time and uh, so a lot of this is helping them to form that to receive the graces we have uh, prayer exercises we have adoration masses and and really trying to help them grasp the understanding that it's it's really that transformation of the inner self and giving oneself to the will of god and obviously through the intercession of our lady their mother beautiful Okay, thank you very much, Marion. So this is Friar Gabriel Mary, and uh, thank you very much. Ave Maria. Thank you.